Hello everyone, this is chapter 6, number 41, uh, reassessment number 7, work energy. So uh, part A of the question asks us to calculate the work done by gravity and the work done by the normal force um, from the question. Uh, so I drew a little diagram here. Uh, so it, it tells us that the slope makes an angle of 15 above or with the horizontal. Uh, so we can assume that there would be a, um, an angle of 75 degrees uh, with the vertical, which would be using for gravity. So, um, yeah, okay, so using the, uh, the UG, we're using, uh, WG equals UF minus UI, UF would be equal to zero. Uh, WG, we know, uh, the, the, uh, sorry, the equation for U would be, uh, MGY, so it would be negative MGY. Uh, it gives us the mass, 75 kilograms. The gravity, we know gravity. And uh, we, in order to find delta y, we have to use the cosine of this, this line right here, 32 meters. And we get negative 8.3. So we plug all this stuff in, and we'll get the work done by gravity. Um, now for the work done by normal force, we know the normal force is always perpendicular to whichever, way, uh, whichever uh, plane we're on. So uh, that would make a 90 degree angle, which would be zero work done, because the cosine of 90 would be, of course, zero. All right, so uh, part B of the question asks us to uh, calculate the work done by gravity, the work done by number force, the work done by friction, the coefficient of friction, and the uh, force of friction, uh, if the slope is not frictionless. Now, the work done by gravity is still uh, 6,100 joules, just because, uh, you know, the gravity is not affected by the friction. Uh, the normal force is still zero, because of the uh, diagram I showed you earlier. Uh, the work done by the friction force is equal to the difference between the work done by gravity and the work done, uh, or sorry, and the kinetic energy. Right here. Uh, we know K of I would be zero, um, so we could solve this equation right here. Um, so yeah, where are we? Okay, sorry, um, kinetic energy, uh, we know kinetic uh, K equals one half mv squared. We can plug in and solve for the kinetic energy. Uh, you're given velocity 10 meters per second. So once we have that, we just take this, plug it into our equation right here, and we, are, we get negative 2,350.5 joules. For the second part of the problem, um, sorry, sorry. So for the second part of the problem, we use the equation uh, W equals frictional force delta R. Uh, so we rearrange that equation. We got the work done by the fo uh, friction, and then we got the uh, delta R, 32 meters. Solve for that, we get negative 73.5 newtons. Um, so then we take this in order to solve for the coefficient of friction, which it asks us to do. Um, take this equation right here, n will be equal to mg. Uh, plug everything in, and we get the coefficient would be equal to 0.1. All right, thank you, everyone.